If you're interested in using MailChimp's autoresponders to communicate with your customers um, after they've made an order at your Shopify store, you'll need to do a little bit of work in MailChimp to get your uh, lists ready for that. So we're going to start out by logging into our MailChimp account here. And we're going to go to lists. And I'm going to be using my customers list from before. Um, this is the list that we've got synced with our Shopify store using Chimpified. And our customers are added to it when they complete an order and, of course, agree to receive marketing materials. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on settings here and then down to list fields and merge tags. And what I want to do is add a date field to this and the reason we need to add a date field is that currently MailChimp does not allow um, subscribers that are added via the API or through this admin interface uh, to be added or uh, excuse me to trigger autoresponders so we need to create a custom date field here which we can use to trigger those. So I'm going to create a field here called added on and then you can call this whatever you want. This is for internal purposes, but we do need the merge tag to be called added on capital letters underscore just like this. And Chimpified will automatically look for this, and if it finds it, it will go ahead and click save. Populate that field with the date that the customer was first added to this list. Um, now a little caveat, when somebody comes back and makes a repeat order, this added on date will not be updated. And the reason for that is that we don't want to get them caught in some weird loop where they keep receiving a welcome first time buyer email every time they purchase something. So just to note, this, this functionality makes it so that you can contact somebody uh, a period of time after they first purchase um, using an autoresponder. So now that we're done, we'll click over to autoresponders and we'll hit create autoresponder. And remember, the customers list is the list that we have synced uh, with Chimpified to our Shopify store. This is only people who have purchased, uh, uh, completed an order from us. And we're going to want to send, let's say, 10 days after. And you notice this says sign up. Um, this would be ideal. However, as I mentioned before, MailChimp does not allow uh, anything that came in through the API or through this admin interface to trigger that sign up autoresponder. So uh, emails, again, that are synced from your store via Chimpified are not going to trigger that. So we want to go hit specific date. And then you can see our added on field shows up here. Any other date fields that you have set up uh, in your list will also show up here, but added on is what we want. And we can say, welcome first time buyer. So now you can see we've hit save on this list, or excuse me, this autoresponder. And now we have an autoresponder set up that once we create the email and, and turn it on, it will send an email 10 days after a customer completes an order for the first time at your store. So it's a good opportunity to send a coupon or something like that. And that's all there is to it.